that, darling? Yes, I'm all right. I wish I could think of something to say. It doesn't matter not saying anything, I mean. I'll miss my train and wait and see you in town. No, yeah, please don't. I'll come over with you to your platform. I'd rather. Very well. Do you think we shall ever see each other again? I don't know. Not for years, anyway. The children will all be grown up. I wonder if they'll ever meet and know each other. Couldn't I write to you? Just once in a while. No, Alec, please, you know we promised. Oh, my dear. I do love you so very much. I love you with all my heart and soul. I want to die. If only I could die. If you died, you'd forget me. I want to be remembered. Yes, I know I do, too. We've still got a few minutes. Laura, what a lovely surprise. My dear, I've been shopping till I'm dropping. My feet are nearly falling off. My throat's parched. I thought of having dear spindles, but I was terrified of losing the train. Oh, dear. Oh, um, this is Dr. Harvey. How do you do? Oh, how do you do? Would you be a perfect day and get me a cup of tea? I really don't think I could drag my poor old bones over to the counter. No, please. It was cruel of fate to be against us right up to the very last minute. Dolly Messiter. Poor, well-meaning, irritating Dolly Messiter. Crashing into those last few precious minutes we had together. She chattered and fussed, but I didn't hear what she said. I felt dazed and bewildered. No sugar. It's in the spoon. Oh. Alec behaved so beautifully. With such perfect politeness. No one could have guessed what he was really feeling. And then... Oh. Has your train... Yes, I know. Oh, aren't you coming with us? No, I go in the opposite direction. My practice is in Chile. Oh, I see. I'm a general practitioner at the moment. Dr. Harvey's is going out to Africa next week. Oh, how thrilling. The train now arriving at platform four is the 540 for Shirley, Lee Green and the Langley. I must go. Yes, you must. Goodbye. Goodbye. I felt the touch of his hand on my shoulder for a moment. And then he walked away. Away out of my life forever. <laughs> He's got to get right over to the other platform. Talking of missing trains reminds me of that awful bridge at Broadham Junction. Dolly still went on talking, but I wasn't listening to her. I was listening for the sound of his train starting. <whistles> then it did. And I said to myself, he didn't go. The last minute his courage failed him, he couldn't have gone. Any minute now, he'll come back into the refreshment room pretending he's forgotten something. I prayed for him to do that. Just so that I could see him again for an instant. But the minutes went by. Is that the train? Oh, can you tell me? Is that the Ketchworth train? No, it's the express. The boat train. Well, of course, that doesn't stop, does it? I want some chocolate, please. Milk or play?